Imagine you've created a beautiful chart for your Excel report. You decide that the users don't need to see the data, it's not relevant to them, so you select the rows and you hide the data. Suddenly, the chart disappears. What's happened? Where's it gone? Well, that's what we're going to answer in this video. And we're also going to go a bit further and see how we can use this technique to create some more advanced user interactivity into our reports and dashboards. So if you're ready, let's get started. OK, so let's have a look at a scenario. Here I have a table of data with a name, region and sales columns. And this data feeds the chart that you can see below. So the data populates rows 1 to 11 and then the chart is below that. Now, if we say that nobody needs to see the data, after all, it's contained in the chart, so it's duplication. So I'm going to select those rows, right click and then go to hide. Well, suddenly the chart has disappeared as well. Now, if you click it, you can see that we have the outline of where the chart should be, but the chart isn't there. And when we unhide again, the chart appears. So how can we fix this issue? I'm going to right click on my chart, come down to select data. Now, in the select data source dialog box, there's this button here called hidden and empty cells. You may not even have ever noticed it before. But click that and it brings up these options. All we need to do is click that last option that says show data in hidden rows and columns. Click OK. Click OK to close that dialog box as well. And now when we hide this data, as you can see, our chart is still fully visible. That's all it takes. It's one setting in a button that you've probably never clicked before. Initially, the feature of not displaying hidden data may seem annoying. However, it actually creates a new level of flexibility for displaying charts. So here, I've separated my chart from my data. So I've got a data tab and I also have a chart tab. I'm just going to right click on this chart, go to select data, Click on the hidden empty cells button again. I'm going to uncheck the show data in hidden rows and columns. And I'll click OK and OK. What that means is that if I now filter my table to show the north region, my chart will only show those people in the north region because the other regions have been hidden. So hidden data actually gives us some flexibility. And actually, if I come here to my table, go to insert, select slicer, and then select a region from the insert slicers dialog box. I'll click OK on there. I now have a slicer, which I'll press Control X to cut that and move that onto my chart tab. I'll press Control V to paste that. Then from the slicer ribbon, let's say we want three columns. I'll close that up a bit drag that over and now we have a dynamic report because we can use our slicer for selections. So our hidden rows are not shown in the chart, whereas the visible rows are. Well, that's it for this video. We've seen how Excel's default behavior around how charts interact with hidden data may confuse us. But we've also seen that this gives us an extra layer of flexibility around interactive reports. Now, if you'd like some macros or some office scripts so that you can automate the toggling of these options, then head down to the blog post and you can find descriptions in the box below. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you next time.